remember like about a million years ago when YouTube would allow people to reply to other people's videos. Imagine how it would go today with live stream stuff like that. So this is kind of what I'm gonna do today. Uh, so today on Brad stream all the all the animations broke. He, he wasn't able to do anything fast. Kind of that one of those things about game design is sometimes you like to just um here. Uh, wait, what? As you can see, the guy um, is frozen in place. Okay. From that point, uh, everything is frozen in place, including oh God. the Oh God! Everything is like frozen in time. Quick button. Oh, I sh you know what? I, I, I'm i seeing that just now about the bullet collision sprites. Shit, that, that would have been a good idea. Damn. Oh well. Too late now. Actually, like, like I said, maybe you can find um, the, uh, the, the memory value and, and try it yourself. Like, that's why it's there. Yep. Make a game short code. Impress me. That's a good idea, Brad. Let's, let's do that right now. So here to start importing Brad's data in RTC, I unselected all the domains except main RAM. I set my intensity to 15 and did a quick blast in the Glitch Harvester to get a preset blast layer for importing Brad's data. I checked online a uh, quick reference on the PS1 architecture to make sure I could safely remove the AT in front of the address, as this corruption is going to the main RAM and not on the system bus. From the point where he killed those two enemies and their animation working properly uh, to the moment where he killed the other guy where he freezes in place, I have manually imported all the memory changes from the header in his stream. From left to right, uh, we see what I believe is a sequence number, then followed by the address and the replacement value as confirmed by Brad himself. I then disabled the unneeded units and I ran the corruption to see if I was getting the same result. How many sprites can you... Are they... They're like floating? We are now in the future. The washing machine has stopped making the noise. So here I'm rapidly uh, blasting the RAM uh, in an effort to find a way to jam the ammo count. And in order to find um, a corruption that would jam the ammo count to 50, I, I used 6000 intensity with the freeze engine with maximum units of 6000 and eventually Wait, 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 wait. Six thousand six hundred sixty-six freezes to find the ammo counter in a reasonable time. Let's sanitize this. Sanitizing a blast layer of 6,000 units might be slow in the start, but it's not going to take long because every step divides the amount of units by two. If you know what you're looking for, then it can be very fast. They haven't started to despawn yet. And they're still appearing. Oh, there you go. They're starting to despawn. 